Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will I will be showing you guys how you can take in text from a website and show it on your app, like software. Like I'm I'm basically I've got this link that takes me to some text codes and it's it ends with a dot txt and on my app now I can like display this text from which came from a website which was on the internet and I think it's pretty nice now so I'm gonna show you how you can do this and I'm gonna sh tell you guys the limitations first of all I'm gonna start a new project which is on all of this is like on visual basic so I'm gonna go over to Visual Basic Windows, Windows application, and let's, 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 let's just get started. So, um, I'll be adding a text box and multi line depending on what kind of text you're gonna be dealing with now. Okay, now I'm gonna double click on the form and this is what will everything i write here is gonna like be done every time the like software gets run and the very first thing that you have to do is at the very top of your like at the top of everything you gotta write in imports and then system dot net this what what I just did is that now I'm saying that I will be using this so I've imported it onto my place you can think it as like a component and it can it has a few things that I will be needing so this is why it was required so um then I'm gonna be writing in something that is gonna be declaring something called a web client so it, ha it should it needs a name so wc as web as new, new as new web client and I'll, I need a variable where it has to be uh, where the text file has to be stored so Dim text or like I'm gonna string because it's all text and stuff. And now I have to define what the data is gonna be. So data equals wc dot download. This is where the main downloading happens. The so download string as it's, I'm dealing with strings and inside this bracket you gotta type gotta add the link so this is the link and make sure you have dot txt on your webs on the site that you're gonna be using because it needs to have that or else it doesn't it, it's, it's not gonna fall apart that's one downside to it uh, but I'm gonna show you how you can use this to your advantage and okay so once you have done this now the text is inside data so now what you gotta do is should display it on your text box so text box one dot text equals to data that's like simple as that so when I click on start it's gonna show the text that I've been doing so one useful thing that you can do with this is that you can display version numbers or like things that needs to get updated like frequently and since it's gonna be dot text you can edit this anytime you want like if, if I wanted to edit this and like giving the information that this software will need so and it also works with Dropbox now you can do something like you can add a text file you can keep a text file on your dropbox and then 
copy paste the link of that and because everything in Dropbox is basically like on the web so you can copy paste the link of that onto your software which will work fine and you can always edit that notepad whenever you want and your software will get updated according to the notepad so this you can make something that updates when it's connected to the internet or something like that so yeah that's simple it's a simple tutorial hope this somehow helps you on your project and um, I'll see you again on the next video